about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see, the world in action What we can be Hello and welcome to Cruise Travel and Explore with Steve Man Steve. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, this is day 11 of our Tui Morella cruise, uh, so Adriatic Affair and Sail the Free Seas. And today we're in the absolute stunning region of Sicily in Messina. Uh, on this particular day, we booked an excursion with uh, Morella Cruises and uh, we paid £56 each for this, which was the Godfather Villages and Taromina excursion. Uh, again, I've recorded all the excursions on offer uh, by Mirella. If you uh, go to the uh, YouTube channel you'll see some vlogs on every port of call that I've done. Also if you go to the Facebook group which is Cruise Travel and Explore I've uploaded uh, JPEGs of all the excursions as well so if you join the group you can uh, download those JPEGs or the PDF files. I've also uploaded uh, menus and other items to do with the Mirella Cruise so sit back and uh, enjoy. Okay, the first stop off is at Savokat village. Now this is a beautiful stunning village uh, in the mountain tops and it's also very famous for appearing in the Godfather trilogy. Uh, so it's a beautiful destination uh, with cobbled streets, ancient churches and breathtaking views of the countryside. Uh, so if you've not been to Savokat, it's definitely a must see gem for travellers seeking authentic Sicilian experience. Now just behind me you can see a group of people or tourists. These are the people that were also on the excursion and this was a guided excursion. Now again mentioned in the previous vlogs we like to do our own thing uh, so we went with a guide but they allow you to walk off and do your own thing. So if you want to walk around and do your own thing you can if you want to walk with a guide that's perfectly fine. Now, this is the famous Bar Vitelli. Uh, it's still operational. It first opened its doors in 1948 and has been operational uh, ever since. So if you want a drink uh, and sit in there or have a coffee or whatever you want, you're allowed to. Now, I'm gonna talk more about the bar later on in the episode, just to give you a bit more information about it. But that's the famous bar from The uh, Godfather. Now to the right hand side there you're going to see a little shop, we bought some fridge magnets here so if you collect little pin badges of fridge magnets there's a little shop there you can purchase these. Now I've just left the tour group only for about 10 minutes, I'm just having a little wander around. Uh, as I mentioned before you're able to leave the tour group, as long as you ask them where you need to meet you can do that so I'm wandering around for 10 minutes and they're going to head back to another place to uh, show you. One of my advantages that I like when I'm on a, an excursion, especially when I'm with a tour group, is just leaving the tour group and doing your own thing. Now you can see how quiet it is around here. Uh, this seemed to be uh, what it was like for most of the tour when I wasn't with the tour group, but I always made sure that I knew where I had to meet. So if you walk around uh, this beautiful area on your own and not with the tour group, you'll get these moments where it's just utterly peaceful there's nobody there you can take your own photographs your videos and just take in the breathtaking scenery and views
on the tour the guide is going to walk you up to this absolutely stunning church uh, which is called Chiasa di San Nicolò uh, now this church dates back to the 15th century now uh, one thing I would definitely recommend about this church is when you walk up to it where the main entrance is on the left hand side there's a like a balcony you'll see it uh, on the left hand side it's got some metal railings now just next to those metal railings there's a there's a glass panel that's been dug out of the floor so you can stand on the glass panel and look down now I, I don't know if a lot of people know this or they missed it I to be honest we didn't even know it was there it was pure chance that I spotted it uh, I'm going to show you this more uh, later on in the vlog so I would definitely recommend going to the left hand side of the church uh, looking out to the absolute stunning panoramic views over the Sicily countryside and standing if you, you want to on that glass panel. This is the viewpoint I was talking about, uh, which looks over the Sicily countryside and the uh, the area where there's a glass panel on the floor. So if you're brave enough, you can stand on it. If you're not, you don't need to stand on it, but I would definitely recommend standing here and getting some amazing uh, photographs.
It's time for a drink, and we thought there's no better place to go than the bar, which is in the uh, Godfather movie. Now, uh, some words of advice. Now, when we went in here uh, and bought a drink and sat down, there are a lot of other tourists that were coming up to the bar and just walking around and not buying a drink. Now, the owner of the bar will stand by the front and not allow you in. Uh, you're only allowed to walk in the bar area in the back if you're purchasing a drink, which seems fair enough. Otherwise, you're going to have hordes of tourists just walking around and you can't relax. Now, the drinks weren't that expensive. We got uh, a bottle of beer, well, for myself, and a coffee. And I think it came to about uh, 8 euros or 7 euros 50 cents. It's not a lot of money. And you can sit in the seat as well where, uh, Al not Al Pacino, Robert De Niro uh, sits in the seat, which is in the movie, which is where we're sat there there's the photograph now so we would highly recommend going in there and have a drink and some food and also this particular bar as well is an hotel and you can stay here so i'm going to put the link uh, to their website up there so if you want to take a look at the pictures or stay there for a weekend or a week whatever you want to do uh, the link's there for you i'm ending up so clueless what are you trying to find i'm running with these emotions Tell me what do you want me
time to leave and we're heading to our next uh, point now which is the church that's in the Godfather movie where the marriage takes place uh, I think at the first points of Acker Village we had around about almost two hours there we got a good amount of time good amount of time to walk around on our own have a drink so now we're off to the uh, next location Right, we've just arrived at our second location, uh, Forza Nagro. I think I've uh, pronounced that uh, correctly. If I haven't, I do apologise. I'm probably going to kill some of the pronunciations, but this is another stunning uh, village uh, that you can walk around, or again, you can walk around with a tour guide. We decided to walk around on our own, but made sure that we could see the tour guides uh, for a period of time. And then after we got our bearings, we decided just to walk around our own.
They say that time is free Then why is it so precious? Oh, I'll say This was the uh, next meeting point, so you could get a drink, go to the toilet, or get food here. We didn't have a massive amount of time here. Uh, I think in this particular area, it might have been an hour in total. Uh, we uh, we didn't get a drink or any food in the end because we wanted to save this for uh, Messina, and uh, so we just had a little walk around.
Now, this is the final stop, and we've arrived in Taramina. Now, I mentioned before I was saving ourselves for some food and drink in Messina. I got that wrong, what I meant was Taramina. Now, uh, when we arrived here, we had an hour and 14 total. Now, for, for us and, and a few other people, it wasn't enough time. We really wish we had another hour uh, spent here. Now, we got back to the cruise ship around about two hours before it sailed away, so we could have had uh, an extra one hour here, and it would have been the perfect day. The only criticism, and it's a, just a minute one, we just wanted to have a little bit more time here because there was so much to see and do, and the place was stunning. But would I recommend the uh, the excursion? Yes, I would. Uh, it's a breathtaking place, it's Termina. It's perched on the, uh, the cliffs of Sicily, and uh, you can overlook the Mediterranean Sea, and it also has an ancient Greek amphitheatre to it. Now, we didn't get a chance to go and see that because, as I mentioned, we didn't have enough time. Uh, we were really hungry and thirsty after the day, so we went for food, and we were hoping that we'd have enough time to walk down to the amphitheatre, which we didn't. But at the end of the vlog, I'm going to put a, a clip there of the amphitheatre, so if you wanted to go and see that, you can definitely see that while you're here. You don't have to get a taxi bus. It's in this town here, uh, and it's about a 15-minute walk away. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the vlog.
now you might be wondering or maybe you're not wondering really why we're wondering up here now we'd looked on TripAdvisor for uh, the best restaurants in this particular area so we'd found one we wanted to go and eat at now I can't what the name was because Gemma found this restaurant and we followed Google Maps and it led us on a bit of a wild goose chase uh, it took us to just outside of the main strip we walked around for about 15 minutes and could we find it no we couldn't so then we were after walking up here we just gave up and we just walked around find a little side street and then went to this beautiful restaurant uh, um, uh, which we fully enjoyed and I've put a link to that further on in the vlog so we're not wandering up here for any other reason apart to try and find this amazing restaurant and bar and we couldn't find it but it didn't matter because the place we did find was beautiful In this piazza, uh, you've got uh, a big sign that says Taimini. We, there are lots of people there taking photographs. Now, just behind that sign there, you can see these railings. I would definitely recommend standing there and looking out over the Mediterranean Sea. And also there as well, you'll see that big mountain. Well, it's not a mountain, it's a volcano. That's Mount Etna. So this is the place to stand to get those amazing views. Uh, we could have just stood here for hours just looking out. Uh, the views were breathtaking and... Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend standing there and getting some amazing photographs. disaster of walking around trying to find this restaurant on TripAdvisor we were walking down all the little side streets we wanted to find somewhere that was quite authentic and not on the main piazza bit because the prices were quite expensive we always like to find these quite more rustic kind of uh, restaurants down the side alleys uh, the prices tend to be more favorable and it's just uh, it's, it's what the kind of food and, and atmosphere that we're looking for so we uh, we got a couple of beers yeah well, I think we actually got four beers two beers each I got a pizza and Gemma got uh, a pasta dish i think it came to about 38 euros which where we were at the particular time we thought it was a good price i would highly recommend that and the link has been put up there for you if I could ask you a huge favour uh, I would so 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 appreciate it if you could subscribe press the notification button and the ring bell so any YouTube videos I create you notify straight away and also what this does it helps me get in front of you if nobody comments or gives me a thumbs up or presses the subscribe button YouTube doesn't put these vlogs out in front of you and I do these for you so if you could put the thumbs up subscribe and press the notification button I'd love you so much please 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 it really does help me out thank you
walking back to the uh, main part where we first met up with the rest of the uh, tour group we really really wanted to try uh, cannoli we've never had one before so we went to this little bakery on the side main street which you'll see when you walk back and they made their own cannolis oh there were so many to choose from I was like a kid at Christmas uh, so we got the pistachio one we got one each and a drink and we ate it in this little uh, park area it was so amazing This is the theater I was talking about. Now, this is about a 15 minute walk from the main center point. Now, I think you pronounce it Tieto Greto. Uh, so I would highly recommend if you got a chance to go and see this. And it was built in the third century BC by the ancient Greeks. And this is, this is amazing. It was built over 2,300 years ago. Hello, right. We're off to the tapas at the marketplace on deck 11. Mm -hmm. We've been here before, but we're going to give it another go tonight because we're not overly hungry and we want to see a comedian that's on tonight, so uh, come with us. to locate the tapas it's in the marketplace which is the buffet so you head up to deck 11 go through the marketplace and it's right at the very back now this particular restaurant is uh uh, you have to book it but there's no charge it's included in the price we ended up going here twice the first time we went was great the second time we went it was okay the food didn't seem as fresh as the first time but we still enjoyed it and it's free so there's no complaints so yeah back at marketplace right at the very back Now I've put the menu up uh, as a screenshot here. Now if you want to go to the Facebook group, you can download all the menus either as JPEGs or PDF files. So if you head over to Cruise Travel and Explore on Facebook, you'll be able to download all these or browse them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers mate. Hi, buddy. Hi, Jake. How are you full of your head? Not behind you, sorry, above your head. I'd like to meet you above your head. I'm going to be nice after that table. Yeah, for you cruisers, they don't know what a pineapple means. Well, it's not upside down. Well, no, it's not upside down, but it indicates. It can indicate something, can't it? Mm -hmm. We found that out last year. <laughs> that sounds really bad. I know, I know. I don't mean, I don't mean we had a pineapple on our door or anything. We just, somebody was telling us what a pineapple means, a upside down. Yeah. And a pink flamingo. Oh. We won't spoil this surprise. <laughs> I really like the meatballs last time I read it. Yeah, I'm going to get those. I think probably going to get them, but yeah, we'll get the same, aren't we? Yeah, and then we're going to go patates, 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 patates. We um, go for a deli cheese board. What did you go for last yeah, time? Yeah, we went for the combo boards last time, which was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you want to go for that again? I'm going to go for the, the croquettes, the ham and cheese croquettes. Yeah. I'm going to go for the patates, patates, um, the beef and pork meatballs, and the prawns, I think. I'll go for the same as you want. Yeah. We can't wait for the chocolate express or moose. You did, you liked it last time. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go for that again because it wasn't warm and big, it was just a Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And two of the uh, grilled corns. Oh, oh, thank you, Penny. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like the uh, combo board we got last time, it was really nice. Yeah, it was nice. I do like coming in here because it's like a sit down meal, but you can just say, Oh, I'm just going to chuck a pair of jeans on. Yeah, you don't have to get overly dressed yeah. up and go casual. I don't need you when you dress up every night. Some nights you just want to have a night, don't you, where you're yeah. not dressing up. Yeah, you I need think to go casual. I'm going to be around the corner to get dressed up, I'm going to get 
dressed up and wearing a dress when I've got one for my hair. Me too. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Get stuck in. The problem is, the controls are a lot more busy mm. this winter, the first week. Yeah, it does. That's it. That's it. Get them all well for you. Please, that'd be fantastic. Thank you very much. You didn't mind me swapping, did you? I thought those people were giving those. Well, I don't mind you giving me a big abortion on. Fast, fast. They're nice this time. I don't know. The mayo actually has a whole flavour. Yeah, it has got a bit more of a kick. Not the mayo, the aioli. You can taste the the chilli in it. It's not all the bad, it's got a slight kick. Well, last time I didn't do it. Did you taste any chili in it? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you how nice it is. Thank you. Give a star. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. You can taste the cheese in them. Yeah. I'll probably bring them this time. You ain't, you ain't sort of an African ball, but you're very civilised and for me. And I'm sweating down my fingers. Mm. Normally, they do the way around this. No, I'm. I think you should get that. <laughs> don't, don't let this more than five do you. Yeah. I'd see you eat your meatballs with your fingers. Yeah, I won't be doing that one. Unless I just pull them back. Like a good oyster. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's very nice. Mm. Mm. I've been cooking them in here. Try everything once. And then come back in and order your favourite things. Yeah, I agree. Because the first time you come in, you want to try everything, but you might order some things you're not, not necessarily like. Yeah. Uh, you like next time you come out, you know what you like. Yeah. You order your favourite yeah. friends. And then we don't have to share. I can eat what I like, you can eat what you like. Yeah. I think my meatballs are favourite, so I'm going to save those to the end. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go scones? Scones. Scones is amazing, aren't they? I'd love to know what they put in that sauce so I can make it at home. That's how you go going. Whenever you get the meatballs, they are really good. Ones of this are uh, amazing. We came in here for three dogs. I feel like this is just you know. It's in this time. The last time they were amazing. Else, I think everything else was nicer than last time, apart from the meat. Yeah, yeah, I thought the same. This time we got them, they were really nice. This time they're tired out of ten. Now, after the Mediterranean tapas, we're off to Flute, which was one of our favourite places for a drink. I've put the menu up here for you, and if you head over to Cruise Travel and Explore on Facebook, you can download the menu. After that, we go to Broadway Shore Lounge on Deck 7 to watch Comedian, but we couldn't record it because we were told no recording devices. This is a Broadway show lounge on Deck 7 and as mentioned before we're off to see a comedian. Uh, if you could also do us a huge favour, if you could press the subscribe, the notification and the like button and write a comment if you like what I do and if you don't let me know and I can change things. Uh, it really does help me when you press that notification subscribe button. It helps me because it helps YouTube put my vlogs in front of you. If you could do that I would love you. Thank you so much and hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog.
with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see 